Hi, um, hi. my name is um, Sue um, and I live in Littlehampton in Adelaide Hills um, and I have known Peter for um, several years now. Uh, I have done retreats um, in Victor Harbour with him before, I've done two of those um, and have found a lot of benefit from those. So for, for a number of years I've really wanted to do this Bali retreat. Uh, when it was on last year, my um, I was so cranky for the week that it was on. My husband said to me, "For goodness' sake, book next year." So I did. <laughs> There's been some unexpected things that have come up along the way that I didn't foresee happening, and I obviously won't go into those now. But you know, um, you better know what they are, and I, you know, they they've quite surprised me. So um, I've had lessons, I think, in things that I didn't expect I would have lessons, as in. I didn't expect to get that from that situation. So there's really two of those, I guess, in a sense. So, you know, that's been, so that I, I think, I, yes, I've certainly grown um, and, you know, and also had some releases on, that, on the other side of that. So the growth, but the release of some stuff I don't need anymore, I guess, or holding me back, maybe. I personally think the structure is awesome. I really, I feel that you know that that starting that in the morning um, and doing the meditation um, and then sort of only doing that for a shortish time and then having the yoga um, and then brekkie and then getting back into it and having that good chunk when you're still alert and and you know to do that in the afternoon I don't think would work so well for me I think doing it in the morning is really great mm. um, and then to get to do either an activity or just hang in this amazing resort um, is you know the more I'm here, the more relaxed I'm becoming. And then obviously in the evening or in the afternoon, we have, you know, we have dinner and then to do some more teachings or whatever's happening in the evening is really beneficial too. So, um, and it's not like, you know, you're not late to bed or, you know, so it's, 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 it's actually, a, although there's something happening all the time, I don't feel like I'm eh, busy, yeah. busy, busy. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the, the food obviously is amazing here. It's, um, you know, it's, I mean, I eat lots of different foods and I think I've, you know, I think the combinations that they put here is, you know, I would never do that at home, mm -hmm. but they work really, really well and it's all really fresh and, you know, when you come to some, you know, different country, you kind of not worry about the food, but you think, oh, is it going to be okay or, you know, is it, you know, is my stomach going to agree with that or whatever and yeah. there's, you know, it's, it's absolutely 100%, you know, perfect. So I really enjoy the food and each meal time I've managed to line up and have way more than I would at home, yeah, but yeah. I don't feel full. I don't feel like I'm overeating either. So, um, yeah, and the staff here are really, really beautiful. You know, the, 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 some of the girls, oh, and the blokes too, but, you know, have come up and asked your name and, you know, they remember and then they come up and put their arm around you. And, you know, we were just talking to Leah before and having, you know, that further connection, you know, which we were just saying, she brought a, um, a, a juice drink to us and, and you know, stat, she sat squatted and talked to us for probably 15 minutes. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't get that in Australia. Yeah, we yeah, don't have yeah. time to do that. Yeah, yeah. As well, she could, you know, give us that time. Yeah. And that was, and we found some more about their culture, which was really awesome. Yeah. 